Hi guys, it's Justina, also known as Woman in Blockchain, at Woman Blockchain on Twitter. I am here with Omar, also known as Bitcoin Omar, and Jason Towsley. And we are going to be going, hi. How are you guys? Good. Exhausted. <laughs> well, I it was a, way. Yeah, it was a very, very a tough men- two days. Two mental days of sweat. Mental sweat, sorry. Yeah, so we're here to recap on Futurist 2020. Uh, and I just want to get the feedback from you guys. How was the virtual experience? What you got out of it the most? And uh, what do you see for the future? I, Go ahead, Omar. I'll let yeah, you lead it. I really like the, the concept of the virtual uh, conference given the circumstances with COVID, but I really wanted to like have some uh, time to uh, decompress after one topic and then jump into the other. That's why I felt like obviously the face-to-face conference was like a little bit more, uh, helped, me, f- helped me to understand better for me rather than just in front of the computer for the whole day because then you are like actually like getting to to meet with the, the panelists and stuff. So, but like, I really liked the experience. It was very well organized and uh, Tracy and un, uh, Untraceable had like amazing job this time. So I'm very happy with it. What about you, Jason? Yeah, no, I, I agree. To add to your point, I think uh, you definitely got whatever you kind of put into it so however committed you were to taking on the different events and and listening to them um like it was really relatable i just found myself making these mental notes going over it in terms of seeing how these individuals companies speakers how they fit into the overall space it was a it was a nice overview of different aspects and whatnot it was an great um like a great variety i i really felt like a you know two days was bang for your buck it was great but i definitely agree with what omar is saying too in terms of uh i feel like the next couple of days are when i'm gonna decompress now and really go back and look over all the speakers and just double back into what they were doing because there was just so much happening at so often that uh, it was hard to keep up yeah, and also I was trying to to understand. Okay, what is really new in in this in the in the industry? And that's when it. That's why, like the first one that I, I went, I was just like overwhelmed by how many projects and how many new, uh, yeah, new new stuff is is developing in the industry. So, and that's why, like these days, it will be like effective among us and with the other people in crypto Twitter really understand like what is going to be the next steps. What do you think, Justina? Well, for me, I think the conference allowed me to be inspired again. Uh, I've had a love affair with crypto for a while and it just kind of reinvigorated that. So I personally felt I learned a lot. I got a lot out of it. Uh, It was just kind of giving me the pulse on what's going on on many topics, sort of like, if you want a general overview of what's going on uh, in DeFi or governance or um, AI, ethical AI, like this was the place to be. So I found I gained a lot of information on the different topics. And I also felt that it showed me what was coming and how, um, how really like actually it's how it's growing and who's coming in. And, you know, a lot of people said, even uh, I saw an interview on mining and so how much more professional, how further the industry has gone. We have industry money coming in, uh, major wealth. Uh, and then same with like Binance, the last interview, uh, it really was about, hey, we're working with most of the states in the U.S. and they're having regulations and we're having big players joining in we're building things for the regular consumer we're building things for the industry and i i just really was like you know wowed where this whole thing has gone over the last years personally yeah like if you could make a binder that encompasses kind of like a the knowledge like every little layer every aspect kind of filled in a different slot that 
I took away from that, that I, I, I'm like now excited to look back through that proverbial binder and see how all those different player, players fit into it, investigate a little bit further, track and keep like, it'll be interesting to see how those things, like when those relatabilities on like the, the gamifying different aspects, uh, like seeing how those things come into play, like, you know, everything was very, the projections were very, uh, like I understood exactly. Like it didn't seem like it was too complicated. It made per like a lot of it made perfect sense. You're like, of course they're going to want the game like that. I remember the analogy, like, of course they're going to want a gun that an esports player like won a tournament with that, you know, like, uh, why wouldn't like why wouldn't that be a collectible like you see this pathway and it makes it perfectly understandable versus a lot of times there's stuff kind of missing uh especially when i'm explaining things where i'm just like how is something just you know the digital a collectible like now i've got a direct kind of pathway and i can investigate that further it's super good yeah, NFTs are for sure going to, and gaming are definitely topics I'd like to um, talk about with you guys over the next weeks myself, invite a couple of speakers in. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that. So I'm, I'm glad I gave you some ideas. One and, thing I wanted to say, I think it started to cut you off, but I think Omar and I can definitely agree that there's a lot of chatter, Justine, that you might have been the best moderator in the entire conference. So I agree. It's like, way to I go. Agree. Honestly, we were amazing. Like in terms of uh, putting people at ease and then kind of getting out the information, like my hat, hat's off to you. Well done. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I think for me, what I find with technology is when you end up getting these experts, the people who are there and they may not be in the field, they may not get it. And as soon as you make it way more relatable, you can transmit it to a, a broader audience. So what I always try to do is think, well, what if someone in the audience doesn't get it at all? And then I yeah. say, how can we use this? And then really bring in that use case perspective. So think relatable empathy. That you have. Exactly. Because otherwise they're just like, okay, like, what yeah. is it about? Like, you may not care about privacy, but you may care about speed. You may not right. care about web 2.0 data interoperability, but you would want it in the background, like you said, why wouldn't you want it? You would want it because you would want uh, different companies to have the ability to share and control data and have run smart contracts that they can do all kinds of things like that. So yeah, yeah. there were so many but nuggets that you're able to take away from it to just immediately, you know, like the amount of people that were taking like kind of the quotes, not to mention obviously Futurist did a great job on catching on those little nuggets that were being delivered like even the one that you did in terms of gamifying and whatnot like they were just right on it to then just solidify something like that and it's great that a uh, someone that is uh running kind of on a blockchain i think it's great that you know something that you added with the gamify like allows to be just solidified as you know boom here's an idea that's come out of it here's then a, a statement that's been made and let's now investigate how that achieved how that's been achieved which it's you know that's what i'm excited about now like the, again like the follow-up see what the next couple of years entail yeah totally agree actually in the last conference i first start uh, hearing about the real estate applications uh, with blockchain and then now that i saw this conference uh this panel with about real estate i was like wow that has been like really updated and then like actually apl applied with many cases at least in canada with what i heard so this is this is really really good information that like we can have um distributed in the right in the right um industries so yeah and to gamify it uh to build on justine's point that she made <clears throat> i think futurist did a great job on doing that because people want to achieve things and when they're getting what are what is somebody getting from it well there's nothing better than having something that tracks kind of which uh where how much under the hood you look so to speak and and then being able to track that and make it into kind of like a a fun little competitive nature uh it you know having even things like those codes it keep it kept the the tempo going 
uh, and, and allow people to just really, you know, like I said, like draw down a lot of notes and now go back to it and really investigate a lot further. Mm-hmm. Like gamification made it didn't seem like work. Like I know a lot of these, you guys can probably contest this. Some conferences you go to and it feels like it's like, it's almost like, almost like out of the movies where it's like, it feels like work. Like it's just like draining yeah. and like, it's not quite like not a party, so to speak, but this was just a perfect balance in the, yeah. the gamification was done in a very professional, well-executed manner. And you killed it in that. So hats off to you for that one, because you. most of the game, you were number one. So I was trying to wow. beat them off. <laughs> when are the results uh, going to be published? Posted? There's nothing official uh, in terms of they, they didn't release any sort of a schedule, but uh, I'll definitely be the, you know, the loudest one talking about it whenever something happens. But I'm, I'm, I'm just ha- like, I'm just happy that because uh, to me, I'm a, I'm a, I have like the, uh, an engineering background essentially. And so to tinker with things, um, you know, I saw through whatever minor flaws there were, and just saw it for what it was in terms of just this something to like a checklist almost to achieve. And, uh, it was, it was fun. Like I said, uh, it, even, uh, or to add to Omar's point it, it now to look back on it now though, is definitely the, the decompression is uh, much deserved. It's going to be fun to dig through this thing and look through and, uh, look up some of these companies and monitor yeah. the progress on how things go. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely yeah. looking forward to like, to actually go dig dig deeper like in DeFi, like versus centralized finance which was like really really interesting panel for me um so let's let's do this uh, in the following days as well guys one one thing i think is interesting that there's a huge opportunity for that maybe wasn't quite <clears throat> i guess there was definitely a digital kind of swag bag but uh what's interesting is something like the masters this weekend went gong ho in terms of their online presence in distributing that swag and i think it's kind of interesting that there was now these things that we're able to take back from it that is kind of this like we had we had this there's this digital swag you know we've got a a potential account from a different things like it was all this digital swag that we were able to get and now add to our almost portfolio so to speak exactly And on that note, so we'll be uh, just for the audience so that they know we will be recording more interviews in the coming days. We have our own event coming up at the end of November, November 28th, where we'll be covering corporate social responsibility, uh, ethical AI, and really uh, discussing the future. So I invite you all to that. Uh, We are all members of Women in Blockchain Canada, which is a non-for-profit Canadian organization. So hope to see you guys uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have great speakers coming in uh, to discuss this topic. So I hope to see you all there. And thank you for joining us today. And we will continue to create content for you guys. So please like and subscribe our channel. And we look forward to interacting with you on these topics. Guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.